mom, you can't have candy, you know, that kind of stuff. Like, that was me. I would go around and tell people that shit. <laughs> and, and, which one do you want to start off with? The guy at the hotel or or the painting? Let's do the, uh, the guy at the hotel, that's fine. Alright, so why don't you start it off? Or, you, right. or if you don't want to, I'll start it off. Uh, you, you, you tell it. Alright, so basically, alright. So I generally send my clients to a certain hotel in the area when they fly out of the state or even out of the country. And um, I had one client fly in from, I was going to say from London. <laughs> He's kind of a bullheaded guy. And it's one of the things we worked on. And he and one of the people that worked there butted heads for sure. <laughs> and um, here I am three years later and this guy's still pissed. Now here's the thing, I never butted head with that guy. But because someone I was associated with it, he kind of like connected that to me. And I've noticed for two plus years now, he's kind of like been kind of rude and a jerk or just kind of, it's been tension. Maybe that's probably the proper word. Because tonight we finally made friends and I'm very happy with that. And that's what this video is about. So basically what happened? No, it was kind of strange actually, because um, if you didn't know the backstory, you'd, you'd just think like, wow, what is, what is this guy's problem? Like, you know, what's, right. <laughs> He's such exactly. A, why is he such a dick? Why is he being so mean? Right, and here's the thing with me: like, I never had an interaction with the guy, mm -hmm. but because my client did, and he pissed the guy off like more than once, and I realized over time, uh, uh, my client was the one that was out of line. He just kept pushing this freaking guy, but that was kind of his thing. And I was like, you know, you can't do that because I've got other clients that come here, and that's going to make it uncomfortable for them. So, so, so you basically get an idea of the story. So go ahead. So, so yeah, we were just we were just sitting there. Honestly, we weren't really doing anything. We were just sitting at the table, in front of a conference room, all by ourselves, not bothering anybody at, at whatsoever. Well, nobody was there. There was nobody there. We were the only people there. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and he came in. He says, "You can't sit here. You can't sit here. You can't use this table. You know, we need to keep it clean." I mean, keep in mind, we don't have anything but just papers, notebooks. That's it. It's not like we right. had. I mean, we had a glass of water there, and that it was, was like it. like little, tiny. <laughs> yeah, and that was it. So it's not like, you know, we were a threat to making the area a mess or anything like that. Right. And, yeah, and he says, you can't sit here. And we're like, what? why, you know, why and can't I, we? And I had said, like, well, I don't understand. And he's like, you can't sit there. And I'm like, my brain was like, table, chair, hotel, you know, this is very normal. Like, I didn't get any ghosts. And he literally, I think I asked him one more time. Like, I, I literally said, I don't understand. And he goes, you know what, that's it. I'm going to get security. I'm like, mm. for what? Like, what guy, like, what's going on? You know? And so I said, let's go, man. So we got up, we started walking. And um, he comes back out. And he starts, I don't remember if he started yelling at me or I forget what, what it happened. But it turns out really, really good. And so I did a technique, something that I, is just ingrained in me at this point. And it's something that I've been going over with you every single day last year and now, right? It's called being neutral. It's called being internal. It's the same thing that Bruce Lee says, uh, be watcher, my friend. Another thing he says, uh, he's, you know, don't be like brick because someone can hit the brick. Be like fog. You can't hit the fog. You can't know. He says you can't hurt the fog. So here's basically what happened. I teach a lot of my clients to open up and go internal, right? There's no push and there's no pull, right? This is very important. Um, it's very attractive to women. It's very attractive to people in general because it's neutral. You're not pushing people around. You're not jerking them around. You're just being neutral. And people love that. They love to be around. Because like, now it's like you can be who you are and I can be who I am. So he was coming to what I call linear push energy. And I, I do this because it's when your pupils get narrow and they come to a point. And so what happened was he was trying to push, push. And I was just, you know, because we were working on all this neutral stuff. And I was in a very neutral zone. With, I'm pretty much in neutral zone all the time, though. It's very hard, very rare for me, especially now, to get riled up, right? And, you know, I've, I've had people yell and scream. But here's what happens. So the more they push, and, I, and I'm and i just like the non-existent, there's no resistance is what I'm saying. So they can't push. There's no balance. So when they push, they fall. And when they fall, they open up, right? So this guy was pushing, 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 pushing. And what did you see? I think you even said, dude, that was amazing. Yeah, it was it was pretty quick. His countenance just changed completely. 
really. Like he came in there basically. It, it just seemed like to to basically boss us around and tell us what oh, yeah. to do. Go get security, trying to kick us out. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he's he's helping us. He's <laughs> he puts yeah. down this little plastic thing on the table or this little piece of paper to protect yeah. the table. Like here, this is what I'll do for you. Come on over. Come yeah, sit down. Kind and of. he goes, do you guys want to use this? Uh, what, what do they call this room? Um, Speaking rooms, there's a little speaking yeah, like room. a little miniature conference, yeah, conference, conference room. room. And he goes, and I'm like, no, no, this is fine, you know. But if you would rather have to be in there, so what I'm pointing is something I teach in my course. In you basically, it's, it is peripheral vision, but that is one percent of what we're doing. You basically disperse your energy, and when people push on you, they just they go through it, and they're used to boom, 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 or hitting you, pushing up against you. And when you don't do that, it releases, right? So what happens is when it releases, they open up, like wide open. And did you notice a moment here? Like, like, what happened? Yeah. Right? What happened was I didn't resist at all. And that's a big, that's a huge piece of what I teach in my course that women find to be very comforting, right? And that's going to lead into your pain thing. But you know what? We're going to. I'm going to make another video about that, but let's wrap this up. So would you, anything you want to say about that guy? Was it impressive or was it something where like, well, that was just cool. It was, it was very cool. It was very eye opening. Just, just to see how quickly his countenance changed, mm -hmm. you know? And that's the thing is like, we weren't, <laughs> it's, it's not like we were, you know, trying to get the conference room or anything like that. Well, it like came out of nowhere because we had no nerve. He just came in out of nowhere. Like, well, what's going on here? Yeah. He was all upset and oh, what's going on? And so I ended up talking to him about, hey, and it was just, but it was the way I did it. It was just this openness and he just like flipped right. I'm like, oh, okay. And so even though, but even though I was doing it, he was trying to keep it into an argument, right? Yeah. Like he tried to act like he didn't hear what I said. Mm -hmm. And then I just repeated it again. Like, no, 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 I'm trying to make friends with you here. So it was just this total. Now here's part of what my course we're doing. You have to completely let go of your ego, and I mean completely. Are you seeing that more and more now? Mm -hmm. It's not easy. Um, we all get caught up in it, but you can learn how to open up more and more and more, and you, it becomes easier to access. So that's about all I have to say about that. So what's your thoughts? Yeah, it was just a neat experience, neat thing to see. So yep. it was very cool. All right, we're going to do another video about something else Kyle discovered. Go to Mike Colleen, M I K E K O L L I N dot com and learn more how to gain social power by developing these social skills. And that, let me say this, that is a social skill. When when you're doing the mating dance or the ritual or when you meet a woman and you're going through the whole thing, one of the things her mating system is looking for is how do you handle situations like that? Would you say handle it quite, I don't know what the word would be, eloquently, expertly? Yes, very, very eloquently, very expertly. But that's the thing is like you weren't trying to. You exactly. were just you were just completely neutral. It's not like you were like, Oh, watch this, watch what I'm gonna do, like yeah, we're just... we're gonna we're gonna get this guy to change his mind on us. You know what I mean? No. Because I genuinely want to make friends with the guy. And I'm not just saying that and, and we did and I know and I said, you know, I'm actually really glad we had this interaction because now when I come back, you know, you know that, you know, like we you know, I said I'm gonna come to the bar and say hi and I just he said, oh, okay, I appreciate that. Because, you know, I think he's a good guy. They got caught, caught up with some other guy's bullshit. And then it ended up landed on me, mm -hmm. right? So so I'm actually glad because I, like, I like having my clients stay at that hotel. It's 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 local. It's close by. It's It works out all the way around. So what was I going to say about that? Or I thought I was going to say something else. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't matter. I think you guys get the gist. Oh, yeah, it was about social power. But here's something I told Kyle. It's like, a lot of guys think social power is this, that is anti-social power. I'm not talking about power over people. I'm talking about this, how to be social with people, how to interact with people. And there is a way to gain, it's called social power, but you don't force it. You don't take it. You don't push it. You don't pull it. And it's something that people are like, hey, here, let me give this to you. Let me do this for you. Here, let me open this door for you. Let me make that phone call for you. They're, they're, they're doing it for you. They're, you're not forcing them. You're not manipulating them. You're not tricking them. Does this make sense?